Hi there, I'm Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I'm going to teach you how to make this winter tree stripe hot pad. Um, I'm using the herringbone half double crochet and I'm also using a really thick cotton and I picked it up at my local Joanne store on clearance and it was by Wool and the Gang and it's called Cotton XL. So I don't, I'm not sure if they still sell it, but you're gonna wanna find um, a cotton that you can use a J hook with, and then you'll get this really large oversized, and maybe you can tell by the size of my hand how big this hot pad is. Um, but even if you use um, cotton that's from, I think, uh, what's it called, sugar and cream, a bigger, you, your hot pad would just be a little bit smaller, and I still think it would be good. Okay, let's get started. So I have started with 26 chains on my hook and we'll begin in the third chain from the hook by yarning over, inserting my hook, yarning over, pulling up a loop and continuing to pull through the first loop on and then yarn over and pull through both loops. That is called the herringbone half. All right, let me show it to you one more time. Yarn over, insert under the top loop, yarn over, pull back through, and pull through the first loop, then pull through both loops. Okay, continue making one herringbone half stitch into each chain and at the end of the row, you should have 24 stitches made. Now at the end of the row, you will chain two and turn your work. And those two chains just act as height. We're not going to count them as a stitch. So work your first stitch in the third, um, that looks like the third chain from the hook, or it's actually the first stitch of the row. We're gonna start right there. And work another row of herringbone half into each stitch across the row, and you'll still have 24 stitches. At the end of this row, we'll do the same thing, chain two and turn. And now this is the first row that will introduce some color. So again, we'll always work into that first stitch of every row, and that counts as stitch number one. We never count the turning chain. And we will work the first four stitches so here's number three, and here's number four. But we're gonna stop halfway through this stitch, so just go ahead and pull just under the first loop and stop there. Now grab your color, simply lay it over your hook and pull through. Now you're gonna want to carry the white along with you because we'll pick that back up at the end of this row. So here's that tail. I'm laying it down along the row. I'm yarning over, inserting my hook underneath those two loops and underneath this tail, pulling up a loop and working the herringbone stitches. Now we're gonna work in this green color for the next 16. And then that should leave us with four remaining stitches on the other side. And then we'll work those in white. So I really am, I've got the, the white just coming along right with me along the row like that. So I'm about to work 
the 16th stitch so I'm going to stop again halfway just after I've worked under that first loop and now I'll pull through with the white that I've been carrying along with me and I will work the white the remaining four stitches now I'm just I will leave the green tail or the color that you choose I'm going to leave that one behind All right, here we are at the end of the row. I will chain two and turn and work one complete row all in the white. So work one complete row in white. One thing I wanna say to make sure you understand, I'm never working into the top of the turning chains either. They simply are providing height on the side. So I'm chaining two and turning and now we'll work a, another row of color. So this time we will work over for five. So here's one, two, three, four. And here's our fifth stitch, which we'll just work the first step of it. So that is five. And now I am going to go ahead and grab my yarn that is clear over here on that side. And I'm gonna go ahead and use it because the back of this is not going to show in the hot pad because we're gonna be you know, sewing over it. So I just kind of pull that through, make it as, um, you know, not too tight, just, measure it enough that it doesn't pull but I am still going to carry the white along with me okay so I'll grab the green yarn over work my stitch I'm going to make sure I'm bringing the white along with me and I kind of I am working over the green for these first couple ones I'll work over the green until they get out of my way So now we will have 14 stitches made with the green. So now I think I'll go ahead and make sure that I work under the white and I'll leave that green behind. Just like this. I think it'll be easier now if I just tell you what the counts are because all you are doing is increasing by one on the starting of the white side and then decreasing on either side over here. So like I said, we started with four white and then we worked 16 and ended with four. Then we did five. You'll work 14, end with five. You'll work six, 12, end with six, seven, 10, eight, eight, nine, six, ten, four, eleven, two. And then of course, finish off with eleven over there. Now on every time, I'm also working one complete row of white in between. And then you'll finish with two rows of white up here. And then you will want to make a panel that's exactly this, and you can make it plain. Just do 24, make a panel, and then to put the panels together, all I did was um, obviously put, you know, this side, put them together. I didn't have that side showing. I matched them up. I started in one corner, and you just simply, I think I started like this, inserted my hook and I went through both loops and I worked a single crochet around each and every one and I worked single crochet per one row on the sides and that's how you attach it and then when I got back here I just simply knotted 
the loops together and just created this little loop. You do not have to do that at all. So that is how you make the winter tree stripe hot pad. The full instructions for the written instructions, if you prefer to learn that way, is on daisyfarmcrafts.com. We'll have a link down in the descriptions if you're only seeing this on YouTube. But if you are found this on our website, I hope the video tutorial is helpful in order for you to just get the counting right. And that's all it is. Very simple. Okay, enjoy your project. Thank you very much.